What's up guys, welcome to another video. Now in this video, I'm going to be starting off a brand new dropshipping challenge. If you watched my previous videos, you know that for the past five months, I have been trying to build a successful dropshipping businesses. I've spent over $22,000 and lost over $11,500 while trying to build a successful dropshipping store. But this time I want to do things a little bit differently. See, in the past five months, I have tested 16 different products in multiple different ways. What I decided to do for the next seven days is to create new listing or new advertising for one product every single day. So in the morning, right after I get up, I'll get to my computer, find a new product, uh, create a listing, create ads, and let it run for three days. So in the so over the next seven days, I'm going to have tested at least seven new products to see what's going to happen. Okay, so day one, it's 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm ready and sharp to do this challenge. So I kicked off this challenge by going to Ecom Hand to find a first winning product. Now, the reason I decided to go with Ecom Hand instead of doing my own product research is simply because I have been doing my own product researches for the past five months and it always takes tons of time and a lot of energy out of me. So because this challenge is already going to be pretty exhausting, I'm going to have to come up with new products every day, create listings, create ads, campaigns and everything else. I decided to use Ecom Hand to save a little bit of time. And at the same time, I'm going to see if Ecom Hand's products are actually worth testing out. So right out of the gate, I came across this skull ring. Now, the reason I really liked it right from the beginning is because I already have an existing jewelry store, which basically meant that I wouldn't have to create a brand new store for this first product of this challenge. And then I went on to do a little bit more investigation to make sure that it is the right product to, to use as the first product for this challenge. And I've seen that there was still a lot of people commenting under uh, this ad. People were engaging. Some people were posting pictures with the product, which means that they've ordered it. A lot of people expressed you know, interest. So I was like, yes, let's go ahead. I'm going to use this product. Then I went to CJ Dropshipping simply because I didn't want to source this product from AliExpress. Why? Simply because CJ Dropshipping has a lot better customer service and they offer a lot better shipping times. So I went to CJ Dropshipping. Unfortunately, I didn't find it there. So I had to stick with AliExpress, but that's fine. I still decided to go with this product. Um, and then I just started creating product listing in my already existing store. Um, the store is named lovethegem.com. You can go ahead and check it out. After doing this, putting everything together, this is what it looked like. And then when I had that ready, I moved on to creating Facebook ads. So I started with the regular setup, which is basically 10 different ad sets, $10 per ad set. Um, I created two separate um, carousel campaigns or a carousel ads, one with only images and the second one with video and then followed by images. The reason I did that is because I wanted to split test and see which one would work better. After I had everything put together, I submitted the ads and then from there, I just had to wait for them to be approved and see what's going to happen in the next couple of days. Okay, day number two. It's 6 p.m. in the UK, so it has almost been two full days since we started the challenge. Yesterday's product, the first product that I found, the ads were approved after one hour. It has been two full days of running Facebook ads. And so far, let's log in into Shopify. We have made zero sales. Nothing yesterday and nothing Today, literally, we had probably about 100 visits or 100 sessions, store visits, whatever you want to call it, maybe three add to cards and that's it. Nothing else happened. So this product is not doing very well. But let's jump into Facebook Ads Manager and let's take a look what's happening over there. So far, I've spent 130, almost $5 on this product. And to be honest with you, click for rate is really low. And actually it says I had 66 unique clicks or 72 clicks over or, or overall. So not a lot of clicks, but you know, only three add to cards, which is 
literally not a lot for 134 dollars spent two ad sets are doing a little bit better because they have a little bit higher click through rate still low in my opinion to be honest with you i'm a little bit confused on what to do next i think what i'm gonna do is i'll just let it run uh, for the rest of today and if i'm not going to get any sales i'm just going to stop promoting this product move on but for now it doesn't look very good one more thing that i did i reached out to about 12 13 influencers who manage pages related to gothic themes basically the person who got in touch with me yesterday had the page named goth sweet hell pretty good followers count and an okay engagement rate so i decided to give it a go they asked me for 20 dollars for a post and a story for two days i was pretty happy to do that but then he told me that he has like seven other pages similar to the goth sweet hell and and after looking at the pages and seeing that he has pretty good engagement rate on all of those pages, I was like, yeah, that's actually sounds like a good idea. So he asked me for $100. So I sent him all the images because I asked him to do a carousel post and he told me he's going to post it within the next hour or so. So we might get some sales from influencer uh, marketing, we'll see. But for now, there's nothing else I can do with this product other than wait until tomorrow and see what's going to happen. So then this morning I woke up, searched for another product and I found this pheromone attracting perfume oil. Now, because this is not jewelry, I had to create completely different brand new general store for this product, which is fine because over the next couple of days, I'm going to be testing a lot more products and it's going to be a lot easier for me to just create a new product inside already existing store rather than all the time every day creating brand, brand new store. I, I decided to go with this product because I can see that the Facebook ad has pretty good engagement. People are still engaging with the ad, but also after digging deeper into the person who's running this uh, the, the, those ads, I've realized that the only ad they are running is for this perfume and they have been running it since the 10th of May, which is a month. So I don't think they would be running an ad for a month if it wasn't profitable. So there's a good chance that it might be a winning product. So then I created a new store, priced it for $19.99. It cost $4, I think, so pretty good margins over there. I did a little bit of research about what pheromones are and basically it helps you to attract people or opposite sex or, or whatever, makes you feel more confident, more attractive. So it solves a particular issue. People who are single or they feel unattractive or whatever it will help them to gain the confidence and it will help them to attract you know people or opposite sex to them so for now i can't run ads for this product just yet this morning i purchased video ads from fiverr they should be delivered by tomorrow so as soon as i get the ads i'm going to create a new campaign on facebook and then i'll probably go and search for other influencers that could promote this product as well all right, day number three. And so far for the past three days, we made zero sales. But to be fair with you, that's absolutely fine because so far I've, I've only run ads for one product, which was the skull ring that we found on the day number one. Since then, I had to wait for uh, Facebook to approve the, the ads for the second product. And today I'm finding the third product. So it's still absolutely okay. But let's look into the, the data on Facebook ads. So basically, first things first, the, the day number one, the skull ring didn't really work out. I spent $195, almost $196 for Facebook ads and then $100 for influencer campaign. None of that worked. So Facebook ads didn't bring me any sales, maybe three add to cards and then influencer campaign. Maybe I had 20 people visiting the store, no add to cards, literally nothing. So officially this product is a no-go. I've lost $300 trying to promote this product all together. Absolutely fine. I'm going to ditch it now. I've already switched off the ads and I'm moving on to the next one. Then the pheromone perfume that we have found yesterday, 
This is the one. The guy who was working on the video ad for me delivered the video ads this morning. Now, there was a little hiccup because when he created those ads, he only focused on women. He is, so he basically created those ads as he's only speaking to women, which is not ideal because I, I could be promoting this product both to male and female. But considering that I have a limited time for this challenge, I didn't really ask him to do any other re revisions or re-editing. I considered that maybe it's even better that I'm going to niche down and only focus on women for now. I don't know. We're going to see what's going to happen. But for now, I created the ads. Again, same setup, 10 different ad sets. This time I went with 15 pounds not dollars but 15 pounds per ad set simply because i have three different video uh, ads variations that he created so let's see what's going to happen next originally um the first time i i submitted those ads facebook basically disapproved them but then after applying for a manual review facebook decided that those ads are good to go and they approved all those ads apart from the last three you can see here which is crazy because these are the exact same ads that were approved multiple times in different ad sets here so i don't know how that works but i did get in touch with facebook and they said they are going to manually review those three ads one more time i'm hoping it's not going to trigger some sort of um you know mass rejection or mass ban on my account but let's see what's going to happen those ads have been running for maybe half an hour now i've spent like what eight pounds so far it's not a lot um, I can see I have quite few, like 76 people played the first three seconds of the video. It doesn't really say anything, it doesn't matter, but let's see what's going to happen. The next good thing that happened is that this morning I've also reached out to like 22 different uh, influencers on Instagram and one of them one of them got back to me actually two of them got back to me one said that she doesn't really have time for this at the moment which was fine but the other one said that he will be happy to promote the product to two of his theme pages both had over 150,000 followers an okay engagement again not great not ideal and what i mean by that that he had on average two to three thousand plus likes on his post so it's not that much but it's okay to get me started uh, especially that i did get in touch with 20 or 22 different influencers and not a lot of them actually are actually replying to me so he charged me 40 dollars for post on both of the pages and by the way that's a permanent post not just 24 hours post and then story posts on both of those as well so really what we need to do right now is just wait for the next day or two and see what's going to happen and if we're going to get any sales so today Day number three, I needed to find the third product and I already did. I did the same thing. I went to Ecom Hunt and I found this brow enhancement serum. Now, the reason I decided to go with this product is because when I remember watching Biaheza's challenges, in most of his challenges, he was promoting some sort of beauty enhancement products whether that was pimple patches or equipment that allows you to get smoother skin like whatever it, it was usually to do with beauty because that solves specific problem that people on instagram and tiktok are very i don't know sensitive to i guess i don't know that's that's my way of thinking anyway then i did a little bit more investigation i've seen that the post that this page is promoting is still having good engagement people say in the comments that they need it they like it they purchase it it worked plus at the same time when visiting their store i can see there is plenty before and afters it could lead to maybe a winning product and bunch of sales i don't know but it seems like a good product to go with so that's exactly what i'm going to do I'm going to use this product. I'm going to create a new product um, in the store that I created yesterday, which is the Mixel stores. And we'll see what's going to happen over the next couple of days. Day number four. So let's take a look at Shopify and see what happened in the past 24 hours. So basically this morning I woke up and we had 100 and almost five or four dollars in sales well in fact it was less than that because the fifth sale came in this morning but basically what happened was 
The second product that we started uh, promoting, which was the uh, Pheromone Perfume. Last night, around 5 p.m. UK time, I think, I released the ads and the first sale came in about two hours after. So I was like, okay, that's a good sign. And then I think about an hour or hour, hour and a half after that, we had another sale. So I was like, so something is happening. Then I went to bed. Woke up this morning, had another two sales during the night, so that totaled up to like about $80 for sales. And then literally just about two hours ago, I had another fifth sale after increasing the price. So let's jump into my computer and I'll show you exactly what happened and what changes I've made and where we're going. This is the campaign, right? We have spent £179, which is about $225. So we've spent $225, generated $104 in sales. So obviously we're not profitable, but it's understandable because it hasn't even been 24 hours since I created this campaign. At the same time, I'm running 10 different ad sets inside this campaign. And inside each ad set, we're having three different ads running. So there's a lot of wasted budget, right? What I will have to do tomorrow is look into the ad sets that are not performing and spending money, turn those off and only leave the profitable ones running. And this way we could go into the profit side of this entire challenge. Let me give you a quick overview. We have three different ad sets that actually gave us sales. That's promising. All of the five sales, however, came from the video ad variation number two which means that this specific video number two is probably performing the best. But again, it also has spent the most amount of budget because that's where Facebook allocated the budget. So I don't really want to make any changes and turn off the ads just yet. I'm going to wait until tomorrow and see what's going to happen. We can see that we're getting sales with those two ad sets and the video variation number two for about $10 per sale, about $10. So it's still not profitable because I'm paying $10 per sale. I'm paying about $8.50 to fulfill the order. And then I also have to pay um, the, the transactional fees, right? So we're, we're basically breaking even. However, this morning I've increased the price of the perfume from $19.99 to $23. 99 and I had one sale and the fifth sale came after increasing the price. So we could be heading into a prof profitable area. That's where we are with this product. Then yesterday I found another product, this Supreme Brow Enhancing Serum, if you like, and I've received video ads this morning. I released the ads and they were approved literally about half an hour or maybe one hour ago. So as you can see, we only spent about three pounds, which is like, what, five dollars so far. So there's still, it, it's still very fresh. Then the last one, because it's day number four, I needed to find the fourth product that I wanted to promote and I already did. And I even created the product page and ads for it as well, but I'm still waiting for the Fiverr guy to deliver another video ad for me. So let me show you what it looks like and what it is. So the fourth product is basically ActiLift 24 Karats Gold Face Serum, which basically is home kit for face lifting. It comes with some sort of threads that you put on your face, massage them, and it gives you this appearance of face lifting, basically. There was thousand all orders for this product on AliExpress, about 400 reviews. And I've also investigated the store that is currently selling this product and they are getting some good engagements as well. So let's see what's going to happen. Um, yeah, and that's where we are for today. Congratulations, I think we have a winning product. It's day five and today alone we already are at almost $148 in sales. Five people currently on, in the shop. Yesterday we had $131, almost $132 in sales and all of the sales apart from just one order came from the same product and even the same ad variation, which is crazy. I've been doing this for almost six months now, five, six months, and I literally never had a product that was bringing 
so many sales. Maybe it's not a lot of sales, but profitable sales right out of the gate. So let's jump into my computer. I'll show you exactly which product it is, what I'm planning to do next, and it's just super exciting. So here we are. That's the product. The product we found again in day two, which is the Pheromone uh, perfume. It's, it's doing really, really well to the point where I have three ad sets that are currently profitable. The first ad set is targeting US females interest beauty and I've made $93.96 in sales. I've spent $38.22 in ad spend. Cost of goods and fees, transaction fees and everything else totaled up to $37. That gave me $17.91 uh, in profit. Now, here's the thing. When I first started selling this product on day one, I've char I was charging $19.99, right? Then I increased the price to $23.99. But then I increased the price again to $29.99. And since increasing the price to $29.99, I think we had like five sales. So I know this product is selling for $29.99. In fact, I had two orders that someone paid me $29.99 and took an app sale. So total order value was $43.98. So again, those profit margins are lower because I was charging only $19.99 and then $23.99 on the beginning. But nevertheless, we still are making profit on this ad set. Then the perfume.com ad set, same thing, $73.97 in sales. I spent $36.13 on ads. Cost of goods and fees, $28, giving me $9.37 in pure profit. But if I charged $29.99 right out of the gate, this would be a lot higher. And then I have the third ad set that is doing okay or it's, 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 it's getting there. I had only two sales as opposite to four sales here and three sales here. However, out of those two sales, one person took an app sale, totaling the sales to $73.97, where I spent only $36.34 on ads, cost of goods and shipping and fees, $23.57. Bear in mind that this person took two quantities, so I only had to pay for shipping once which gave me a total profit of $14.06. So we have three ad sets that are giving, that are bringing in profit, which is crazy because I didn't even create my own custom videos or images. Like it's just scraped from whatever, you know, we found online and, and, and it's working. So I'm, I'm super, super hopeful with this product. If we take a look at the the actual ads manager, that's the campaign. Yeah, that's the three ad sets I'm now testing. I switched off everything that, you know, didn't give me sales or gave me only one sale, which was not profitable. My plan is to still keep it running uh, for another day to see if they will still bring in profits. And if yes, then I'm going to up the budget to 30 pounds instead of 15 pounds per day. Then um, let's move on to the other products we were testing. Day three, we were testing the Brow Enhancement Serum, which basically was this product, uh, this one. And I only had one sale so far, so it's not doing very well. We've spent so far 161 pounds, which is about 190 to 200 dollars. Only one sale. I think I'm going to stop promoting this product soon. However, it's still maybe pretty early um, because we only had like 300 impressions um, on average for each of the ads uh, uh, ad sets. So I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow um, and just see what's going to happen. Really, we have pretty good click through rate, um, so meaning people probably are interested. Otherwise, you wouldn't be clicking, I guess. Maybe it's the price that's too high, but again, I want to make sure that I leave myself at least $20 in profit margins. So I'm not going to drop the price here. Um, yeah, let's, let's just see what's going to happen until tomorrow. I'm not going to touch this product at all. Then yesterday we found this ActiLift serum, which was again, this product. Ads are running only since yesterday. It's a little bit more expensive product. Uh, we've spent so far 
seven only 73 pounds on ads which is about hundred dollars on ads so not a lot at all not a lot at all um the click through rate isn't as high as with the other products but that's fine because i can work on it later on for now though i'm going to keep it running definitely but for for the rest of today and probably tomorrow as well and then for today day five i already found another product that i'm going to be promoting and it's going to be this um korean firm mask which apparently helps you to tighten your skin um 268 orders 36 reviews 4.8 stars so it looks it, it looks promising and at the same time when i was looking at the ads of this Per, uh, person they are running ads for this product since march since march 18 which is actually getting close to three months now so i really doubt they would be running ads for three months if it wasn't profitable i still have to create a product page i've already ordered video ads so i think by the end of today i'm going to have ads and page ready and if we're lucky and ads will get approved today then tomorrow we can start getting some data Okay, so we're officially at day six. We're almost done with the entire challenge. And since last night, I did get a couple more sales. However, it wasn't anything crazy. So what I want to do with you guys now is to jump into my screen. Let's go through the numbers and see what happened since last night and where we are with this entire challenge on day six. Right, so day six, we so far tested five different products and we're about to start testing the sixth product as well so far as you know quick recap the first product didn't work at all we stopped promoting it the second product was the product that was promising and still is by the way because since last night after i recorded the video i did receive two more sales today is a little bit slower because I only received one sale however if we take a look at the overall like time since we started running ads for this product one ad set particularly is still profitable and this is the beauty ad set so I received five sales from the beauty ad sets which uh, generated about 120 almost four dollars in sales after taking away ad spend and cost of goods and transactional fees that's almost twenty dollars in pure profit which is about four dollars per sale so this is somewhere around 13 percent profit margin on on the sale on this product for this ad set which i'm happy about so what i'm going to do with this ad set today or actually what i already did just a second ago is i doubled the budget because i can see it's working it's bringing profits so let's see what's going to happen after i double the budget now it's slow because i only got one sale today however you, you never will really get very hyperactive days day after day after day right i realize that every now and then you're gonna get the slower days where sales are not coming in but then the next day it could double up right so i prefer to look at the the full picture over you know the the, the couple of days period rather than just over one day moving on to the two other ad sets that we had which was the fragrance ad set and then perfume.com ad sets yesterday they were still profitable right now at this moment we're losing money we're not making any money which is not really good however like i said i don't really want to switch them off just yet because what if in within the next hour or two suddenly i'm going to get two three four sales or two sales in each of those ad sets that would bump them to a profitable side again and i don't really because they were profitable in day one and day two i don't want to switch them off just because today i didn't make any sales and and they are not profitable i think there is not enough data to completely kill those ad sets that's my personal opinion so what i decided to do is to keep it running for the next day maybe uh, until tomorrow maybe end of tomorrow and see where we will be with those ad sets then and then make the decision whether i want to switch them off so so far for this week we have generated 507 dollars almost 508 dollars however we've spent a lot more on advertising so we are nowhere near being profitable so then moving on yesterday i found the product which was the night lift now this is a this is an interesting one 
if you remember, because the person or the page, the, the company who's running ads for this product, they are running ads since beginning of March. So over three months now, which means that they must be profitable, right? It must be selling. Otherwise, no one would run ads for so long if it was not profitable. So I'm curious with this one. I only received a video ads for this product literally like three hours ago. I created the ads and ads were approved only recently, like within the last hour maybe. So as you can see, we spent only $15 so far, so not a lot of action there. So far, my um, assumptions and my, my predictions are that the Actilift Serum probably will not bring any more sales. At least that's what I think. I hope it will, but I don't think it will. So we'll see. So I'm going to have to switch that one off. So if, if that's going to happen, then from the four products that we so far tested only one is getting close to breaking even but let's let's see what's going to happen and then today i found one more product i've already purchased video ads waiting for them to be delivered and the product is basically this little pocket very very strong flashlight i want to target camping like people who are going camping and are interested in camping maybe hiking but the, the reason I decided to go with camping is because, and I have to give credit to my wife for this, is because she said that maybe I should focus more on the seasonal products, right? It's summer, or it, yeah, it's summer, it's getting close to uh, like school holidays and, and stuff like that. A time where people are, you know, taking a break, going campings and stuff like that. So I decided to go with this product just to see what's going to happen. Now, I've always like to go with products that like fix some type of issue solve some type of problem right because previously i was trying to do drop shipping with jewelry which didn't really gen didn't really fix any problems right it was just an accessory it was just just an addition to your life right with this product what i decided to focus on is that you know when going camping there's so much stuff you have to take with you, right? There's so much different equipments, accessories, food, and everything that you have to take with you. So you have very limited space. And this flashlight is super strong and takes minimum amount of space. So let's, let's see what's going to happen. All right, day seven, last day of the challenge. So far this week, we've generated $600. $41.73 in sales and about 21 orders. So yesterday, like I mentioned before, was pretty slow day. We only generated two sales at the end of the day. However, this morning I woke up to three sales and one of them was double sales. So basically two quantities. So we're basically catching up this morning already. Now let's jump into the computer, look at the numbers, see what happened. So like I said, yesterday we had two sales. Uh, one came from the beauty ad set, which we then doubled the budget for. So since I doubled the budget, I didn't get any sales from this ad set. Then we had another sale and I think it came from the influencer campaign that we did on the very beginning because it was a direct visit to the store. So in my head, that's probably where they came from. And then this morning, like I said, three sales. Two sales came from the fragrance ad set, which if you remember yesterday was losing ad set. However, today, because of those two sales, it's profitable ad set and one of the best profitable ad sets. So, and again, it's still early morning. So we'll see what's going to happen for the rest of the day. What I decided to do because of those two sales is I doubled the budget for this ad set as well. And then I had a third sale. And that was a direct visit to the store as well, which again makes me think that it's probably from the influencer campaign that we did on the very beginning. So if we take a look at the, um, the each, each of the ad sets separately, we can see that yesterday the beauty ad set was profitable and we calculated that on average we're making $4 in, in profit per sale. However, because I after doubling the budget, I didn't get any sales we're basically losing money now. However, I did double the budget only maybe 12 hours. No, not 12 hours, but let's say 18 to 20 hours ago. So it's still fresh um, and we still have the entire today to catch up with the sales. So I'm not touching this ad set. We'll see what's going to happen. The fragments, uh, fragments ad set, however, yesterday was a losing ad set. Today, we're $28.63 uh, in profit, which basically means that we are making about $4.77 per 
unit. So when we sell one unit, right? So it's a winning ad set and that's why I doubled it. Then the perfume ads.com ad set didn't bring any more sales since yesterday. So if it if if it's not going to catch up by the end of today, I'm going to switch it off and only focus on those two. So far, the ActiLift that we have switched off most of the ad sets for yesterday didn't bring any sales so far. I did, however, see that we had one person who started the purchase, uh, but then basically abandoned the cart, right? So entered the credit card details and everything, but then left, left it as it was. So I'm not sure what to do with this just yet. Then the night lift, this is the product that we released ads for yesterday. We found it on day five, but we had to wait for video ads. So we released the ads yesterday and so far it didn't give me any sales. It, it didn't really do well, to be honest with you, for the first 24 hours, because I think we only had one add to cart after 98 pounds, which is about $125 spent. I do have $20 profit margin. So we, as long as we spend about $20 and we generate a sale, we're still like, we're breaking even. So far I've spent uh, on average $15 per ad set. So uh, I'm going to wait until the end of the today as well. And then again, if it's not going to work, I'm just going to switch off those ads. So today is really like a defining day. If you like most, most of the ads will either be switched off or I'm going to double the budget and, 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 and try to keep going. So that's where we are. Then day six yesterday, I found this pocket flashlight, very strong one. I did receive video ads for this product today. This morning I created the ads and the ads were approved just literally maybe 20 minutes ago. The uh, campaign is basically active, still not spending. So Facebook is still trying to figure this out. Then for today, we've already have the seventh product and this product was inspired by my wife. So I have to give her a credit. And this is shaving equipment, <laughs> shaving tool that helps you to shave without needing to take a bath, without having a razor. Apparently it's very comfortable to use if you like. It doesn't give you any scratches. It doesn't give you any red skin after shaving. I'm waiting for video ads to be um, sent to me. Hopefully the guy will deliver them today and then I can release this campaign. All right, welcome back, day number 10. Now, this is supposed to be a seven days challenge, but obviously I needed to test the seventh product, which is the one that we found on the day number seven. And this is why I'm making this entire summary right now on the day number 10, so I can give you the full picture. So, we have been testing seven different products and I need to tell you, I do have some bad news because after the last time I was recording, which was day seven, Facebook started rejecting most of my ads, especially the ones for the pheromone perfume that was working so well and we were getting somewhere with it. So I've tried to resubmit the ads in many different ways. They kept rejecting it to the point where I was like, screw it. They are probably going to ban my entire account, but I'm going to try again, but still no go. They didn't allow me to run ads for this type of product, but that's fine because I could still see the potential in, in this product. So what I'm going to do in the future is I'll try to use it and do TikTok ads for it and then see how this is going to turn out over there. But for now, let's jump into the computer. I'm going to show you all the numbers. We'll move back to day one and I'll talk you through everything that has happened. And then we're going to dive into the profit, the numbers and everything else. Let's do it. Okay, seven days, seven different products. Let's dive into the numbers and see what happened. So day one, we were promoting this skull ring. Now this did not do well at all. We were running Facebook ads. I think we've spent about $300. We did a influencer campaign, no sales at all. But I'm not surprised to be honest with you because this product does not solve any problems, any issues um, for people, right? And I knew from the very beginning of this entire journey that I should be focusing on products that actually solve problem. But for some reason, I lost the concept of it and I started promoting products that just didn't make sense. It doesn't matter. We leave, we learn. That's the mistake, mistake I've done. I, I know I'm not going to do this again, but this product basically didn't work. Then day number two, the pheromones perfume, which is this beauty right here. 
it really did work. We did get uh, quite a few sales, a lot of clicks, a lot of interest around the product. Yes, we when we look at the entire net profit, we basically lost $268. We've spent $508 on ads, influencer campaign was $42, video ads $80, cost of goods $137, we've lost $268. But what we need to take in account is that on the beginning I was testing 10 different ad sets and really from those 10 different ad sets only two were actually good ad sets that were giving us profit. So all the loss that was accumulated came from basically the ad sets that were not working, but that's how you find the winning ad sets so you can scale the profitable product, right? And the good news with this product is that we did find, okay, three ad sets that were bringing in sales, but two that were really promising. The first one was the beauty uh, ad set. It was giving us basically a pure profit of $4 per unit sold. So that was not bad. That was about 14% 14, uh, 14 um, margin. I just got the sale and it distracted me a little bit, but never mind. I'll talk about the sale in a second. And then the next uh, ad set was the fragrance ad set, which basically was uh, giving us $4.77. Uh, per unit sold, which again is about 14% um, profit margin. I know it's not a huge amount, but it's enough to be making some type of money with dropshipping, right? Then the perfume.com ad said, this didn't, uh, this stopped basically bringing any sales. Maybe if I'd run it for a little bit longer, it would, but I don't think so. However, sad news is that Facebook basically is ruining everything for us because they basically rejected our all all our ads, not even just one, but all of them. I resubmitted the ads, rejected again. I submitted the ads or appealed for manual review, rejected. So I rechanged the ads a little bit, submitted again, rejected. Manual appeal, rejected to the point where I was like, Screw it, I bet they will ban my account. When I wake up in the morning, I'm going to have this terrible red message saying your ad account is restricted. So, uh, luckily, they didn't restrict me, but I know I'm, I'm getting close to that. So I stopped promoting this product. I couldn't really see how profitable it would be with those two ad sets. But the good news is that I can take it to TikTok and start running ads to this product on TikTok. And I really think that TikTok is where the main audience is because it's a perfume, pheromone perfume that helps you uh, or helps women or men attract the opposite sex. You know, it's like, it's, it's a type of product that younger generation would probably want to try. So TikTok could be a really good place to, to start making some money with this product. Okay, moving on. Day three, brow enhancement serum. So this was the cosmetic that helps you to basically grow your eyebrows. Uh, we did get sales from this product, not profitable, unfortunately. So at the end, I think the day two, I stopped running ads for it because none of the ad sets was actually profitable. Uh, if we take a look at this, we have spent $274 on ads, $74 on video ads um, to be created, then cost of goods $27, and we only made $107 in sales. So we lost $267 with this product. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try it anywhere else. That's a losing product in my opinion. Day four, ActiLift Serum, which basically was this golden product. We did get one sale from it, so we had some interest, but nowhere near being profitable, even with the ad set that actually generated the sale. So we spent $261 on ads, $80 for video to be created, $15 cost of goods, sales, only one sale for a total of $47.97. We lost $308 with this product. Not profitable at all. Let's move on. Day number five was the night lift product. Now this was the product that I was like, okay, if, if I was going to bet my money on any of the products that we have tested so far, that would be it. And the reason I'm saying it is because there was a business, the Facebook page that was running ads for this exact same product since beginning of March. So they've been running ads for this product for the past three months. 
I doubt they would be spending money for three months on Facebook ads if they were not making money, right? I doubt it. So in my eyes and in my opinion, it was like, this is going to be a winning product, but maybe I didn't promote it in a correct way. So I did probably something wrong because we didn't even sell one of it. So we've spent $181 on ads, $80 again on video ads. So we basically lost 261 dollars uh, and 68 cents again i probably wouldn't even bother with this product anymore Be now here's the thing this is what i've learned for the past six months like the majority of the past six months i've i literally wasted on trying to make the products that were getting close to breaking even and had maybe a little bit of potential and trying to actually make them work instead of just ditching those products and moving on to the to, to the to the next product that doesn't require me to put so much effort into into making it work so that that's the one piece of advice that i would give to you if you're just getting started don't get too emotionally attached in you know to 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 the products if you're barely making any profit and and, and you're trying and nothing is working Move on. Don't 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 try to create new offers, new angles, or whatever. If it's not working, then I'll bet you'll find different product that will work for you with minimal amount of effort. So, moving on. Day six, we found this multi flash camp, which is basically a pocket flashlight. I targeted camping enthusiasts um, and, and hiking enthusiasts, but it didn't really work either. In my eyes, the reason I decided to promote it is because, yeah, of course, I found it on Ecom Hand, so to me it was like, okay, so, you know, it, it might be a winning product, but also because it's summer, it's getting close to school holidays, you know, families are going camping, so I was like, this might be a good seasonal product. Unfortunately, I spent $159 on, on the ads, we didn't even get any ad to cart, so I decided to basically switch this entire campaign. I spent $80, of course, on video ads, so we lost, again, $239.22. So, so far, so good. We've literally lost probably thousands of dollars so far. Then the day seven, and that's where things are getting interesting. The, the, the product that were used on day seven is the only product from all of them that we didn't take from Ecom Hand. Basically, my wife came across this product on Instagram when she was scrolling down and she was like, this could be an interesting one to try. And I decided to listen to her, created ads, and we are getting some really good results with it. So let me fill you in because we didn't talk about this um, just yet. So the product basically looks like this. This is the Deluxe, I call it Deluxe Shave TM. It helps women to shave their legs, shave their arms or whatever without using razors. It's soft for the skin. It doesn't give you any scratches or irritations like regular razors. You don't have to take a bath or shower to use it. Um, it doesn't give you what's called a strawberry legs, which uh, until yesterday I had no idea what it was but now I know <laughs> and basically it really does solve a real problem it is comfortable to use or very handy you know and so what I did is I created the first campaign which basically was this deluxe shave campaign right here and the problem was that we were getting good click-through rate um, or okay click through rate of 1.27%. CPM wasn't that expensive, but the ads were really slow. Like for the first probably 20 hours, Facebook like spent maybe 50% of the budget. Like it's for some reason it was not working. It was going unnaturally slow compared to all the other ads and campaigns I was running in the past. So what I decided to do is to literally just duplicate the same com campaign without changing anything, just duplicating it and resubmitting the ads. And when I did that, immediately after the ads were approved, literally we've spent not even $1 on a on particular ad set and we already had a sale. And now this campaign uh, gets clicks for $1.50 less than the previous one. 
The click through rate is the same, um, like in the same range, but yeah, the clicks are a lot cheaper and we're getting some action going on. So, so far we've spent on this product for both campaigns, the one that didn't work and the one that suddenly started working when I duplicated it, we've spent $271. We generated $202 in sales straight away. Um, okay, we lost $214, but that's because of the first campaign that there was something wrong with it and I don't know what it was. But also because we have a lot of ad sets that are, you know, still basically working. We've only spent like maybe $14 on, on each ad set. So there's still potential in there. But two particular ad sets that we have, which is the personal care and laser ad set, they gave us three sales so far. So if we if we like if we only look at the ad sets that are profitable, that are working right now, we've spent so far $30 on ads with those ad sets. And we've generated $140, almost $7 in sales. So even after taking the cost of goods, after taking ad spend, we generated 68 almost 69 dollars in pure profit with this product to be honest with you this is the best from all of the products we've tested so far including the pheromone pheromones perfume so i'm really hopeful with this product i want to take it to tiktok and see how this is going to work on tiktok this campaign that the one that i'm talking about right now the one that i duplicated that this gave us free sales is has been running since yesterday afternoon so maybe 18 hours not even 24 hours yet and we already have profitable ad sets with multiple sales in it and yeah i think this is this might be it to be honest with you but yeah if you look at the bigger picture we still didn't make profit but it doesn't matter let's see what's going to happen in the next couple of days so Let's summarize the entire challenge, the entire seven days. Let's see how much we've spent, how much we made and where we are with the entire budget. So in total, we have spent $1,851.66 on Facebook ads. We spend $474 on video ads creation. We've spent $142 and a half dollars on influencer marketing by the way influencer marketing i've only done it for the first two products it didn't work at all to be honest with you well maybe I, we did receive two sales of the pheromone perfumes from this influencer campaign but two sales that, that's that's nothing comparing to the, the, the size of the audience that those influencers had anyway moving on the cost of goods in total we have spent $245.65, transactional fees $25.76, so total spend was $2,739.57, sales $858.66, so over the last seven days testing seven different products using mainly ecom hand using facebook ads we have lost one thousand eight hundred eighty dollars and ninety one cents so another seven days seven different products gone by now i've probably tested 23 to 25 different products since the beginning of the year and i am at thirteen thousand four hundred seventy four dollars and forty four cents at loss well, it is what it is, it ain't easy, but I still remain hopeful because I really do believe that it is possible, it must be possible. People are buying stuff online consistently. If I take a look at my family, my sister, my wife, um, like people I know, my friends, they are buying stuff online and I personally buy stuff online as well. So I know it must be working main points that I would take away from the last seven days after reflecting on the last six months is that number one, I should have be focusing more on products that actually saw, solve a problem rather than are, have only a wow factor, right? That's the first thing. I think if the product solves the problem, but it doesn't have, you know, this great wow factor, it could still do well. 
But if you have a product that has a wow factor but doesn't necessarily fix any problem, it probably wouldn't do very well unless you're really good with marketing, maybe you're lucky or whatever. So I'm from now on, I'm only going to be focusing on products that actually solve a real life problem that have a wow factor. And I don't think I'm going to be using Ecom Hunt or any other softwares that are, you know, showing you winning products. I think it's best if you find the product yourself and test it that way. So this is where we are. Next video, I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway of almost $600. I'm going to be reviewing Biaheza's dropshipping course, the new updated version of his course. I'm going to be literally going through the entire course, implementing his strategies step by step. And we are all going to be testing his content to see if it's worth investing in his course or not. And I'm going to choose two people from the next video who will comment under the next video. And I'm, I will personally buy you guys his course with my own money if you want it. But I'm going to give you more details about it in the next video. So for now, that's it. If you like the video, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, please subscribe. I'm losing money here, but if I gain some followers, some likes, some fans, then that's the entire journey will pay off for me anyways. So thanks for staying and take care.